Hi everyone and welcome back and in today's video I'm going to demonstrate how to use your Tascam Model 12 DAW mode with Personas Studio One. But first, let me discuss what is DAW mode. DAW mode, which only exists in the Model 12 and does not exist in Model 16 and 24 because Model 12 is the digital mixer, it basically allows us to use the tactile options faders as well as some of the uh, knobs we can control, some of the buttons and the transport to control all of these features in Studio One or basically any other DAW that supports surface control. This is quite helpful because if you don't have any surface control and you want to control fader automation, you only have one mouse and you can only control one fader to automate at any one time. While you have surface control and dough automation, you can use multiple fingers to control fader runs or fader automation rides using your fingers to control multiple channels at the same time. This gives you more flexibility and more creativity to control automation. The instruction of how to switch the mode from a mixer to the DAW mode for the Tascam Model 12 is included in the manual. But you can also follow me through as I demonstrate and talk about the buttons that I'm actually using. While we are in the home position, we click the menu and from the list we can select DAW mode, just pass storage and we click the multi jog button. And then from the list of available modes, we select Mackie Cubase and we click yes. And then we also select yes. And now we are in DAW mode and the mixer won't function as a standard mixer. Now you may ask at this stage, what happens to all of the inputs and mixer stages? Well, that is something for a future video, which I will discuss what happens to all of your inputs and all of your compressor and EQ settings and all of the other function, uh, functions that are available in the mixer mode, which is not available in the DAW mode. So I hope that you subscribe to my channel. That way you uh, a follow up video discussing those features uh, will be uh, coming up very soon. Now that our mixer is in DAW mode, now let's go to Studio One and I will show you how to add the Tascam Model 12 as surface control device. First, let's make sure that we do have Tascam Model 12 as our audio interface. I'm just going to go to Studio One and Options and in Audio, I have selected Model Mixer. I can also look at the control panel and we are all set to go. Next, I'm going to go to Song Setup. I do have a blank project already open. And here I can see all of my inputs that I have selected. And also all of my outputs. If you haven't seen my previous video of how to set a great workflow for inputs and outputs of the Tascam Model 12, I'll leave a card and a link in the description and you can watch that video as well. Just going to go back to Options and I'm going to select external devices. And from here, I've got few devices available, some connected, some not. You may not have any listed here or whatever other audio MIDI devices you have connected will be listed here as well. I'm going to click add. And from the list, I'm going to select McKee and control. And let's change the receive from to MIDI in Model 12 MIDI. The other MIDI is the actual physical MIDI connection at the back of the Model 12. This is the internal MIDI. And the next, I'm going to select MIDI out. Again, that's the MIDI physical MIDI out. But that's not what we want to connect. We want to connect MIDI in to and MIDI out to for Model 12 MIDI. And we click OK. So we're pretty much set. Let's click OK. 
Now the unit should actually start functioning. We can see we have the stop button come up. Even though we don't have any tracks or anything available, I can press play. And now on screen, as you can see, the timer is running. And I can press, I can use the jog to also go back and forward in bars. I can use fast forward and back as well. So transport is already working. So let's add some tracks. I'm going to add eight mono tracks. So now I have eight tracks. Let's open up the console. And now we should be able to adjust. As you can see, as I adjust the levels, now we have the faders on the screen changing as well. We can use the mute. We can also use a solo. And we can also use the pen. We can also arm for recording. And the main is controlled by the effects. As you can see on the right hand side, that's controlling the main output. And while you are mixing and you are doing automation, the main output controls the actual sound that's going to the XLR output to your speakers or your headphones as you are mixing. That's why they're using the effects fader to control the master bus on Studio One or any of the other DAW listed on Tascam. Now, all that fun and really great to use, uh, to be able to use tactile and you can actually feel the levels of the faders and you start riding it, that's all good. But if we decide to actually change on the screen, they do not reflect on the faders because these faders are not motorized. There is no way for these faders to move up and down, unlike motorized faders, to reflect the changes that you do in your DAW and vice versa. So you will actually, if you adjust it, and it will lock on to whatever setting you have. So if you close the project and open it again and you have different settings, let's just do that example. I've got everything down because end of the day, I decided not to have my faders up and I'm just having different levels on the screen, as you can see. And if I turn it up and I come here, of course, the faders now all change and if they start reflecting, to whatever the faders are. That's one of the limitations and the drawbacks. But have no fear, because what you are trying to do with the DO control is to ride in and write the automation. And I'm gonna demonstrate a very quick how to ride and do the automation so that next time it doesn't matter whether you're in DO mode or not, or where your faders are, the automation will still take control and control the faders moving up and down, even though physical faders on the Tascam Model 12 won't be moving. Let's assume that we have recording and we're gonna do some automation. That's fine, we just go down here. Let's say I'm just gonna use track five and here I'm gonna say write. And now it's gonna be ready to write the automation. And as we play, and automate, let me open up the automation screen so we can actually see it. And let's start playing. And as you can see, automation is moving and I stop. And I can rewind back. And now this is the important thing. We want to make sure that we select it back into read mode. So even though our fader is all the way down now, physically down, and that controls that down, let's play our automation. As you can see on the screen, the fader moves 
the same way as I moved the fader, even though it's not moving here. So that's how you can write. And then once you've done it, you can put into read mode and let the DAW control the fader and the volume, how you controlled it physically, we're using faders. Of course, I only used one fader. You can use multiple faders to write multiple automation at the same time. Even though the DAW mode in Tascam Model 12 is quite limited, but still very, very functional and you can be very creative using it to ride automation. Don't let the limitations of this DAW surface control mode sort of discourage you, but you know, it's better than nothing at all. For the price that you get the Tascam Model 12 to also include DAW surface control automation, it's really, really handy. Now, there are a few things that I would hope that Tascam would watch this video and in future update its firmware is really great would be, would be to latch the input so that if the fader does not match what is in the DAW, what's on the screen, it won't move the uh, fader on the screen until it latches to the same position where the DAW fader is. So that's why if you start at zero, none of the faders which are at the top, I'm just going to here, let's say I had the project fader here. It won't adjust until it moves up and reaches to the same point as what's on the screen and then it latches and then you can actually control it. This way you can readjust all your favors to latch back onto the project and you can keep going on mixing after that as well. This is a feature that available in some surface control which are not motorized faders and I hope Tascam can take this on board and update the firmware in the future. I'm just hoping and uh, which would make it much easier than switching banks from uh, instead of 1 to 8 control 9 to 16 could be a really great feature. Well, I hope this video was helpful. Now you know how to use the Tascam Model 12 as a surface control to run automation. If you have any comments, any questions you've got in this regards, feel free to use the comment section below and I'll try my best of my ability to answer them for you. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like as well. If you subscribe then follow up videos on the Tascam Model 12, you'll be notified. Till then, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Catch you in the next one.